Real Player presents GoPro tips from your friends at Free Skier. Hey, Tucker Perkins here. We're here in Whistler, British Columbia for the uh, World Ski and Snowboard Festival here at the Pipe. Uh, GoPro Real Player, you know, I love using their stuff. Bust it. Bust it. Yeah, you're going to take some runs with me through the pipe, talk about how to use the GoPro appropriately, you know, get some cool angles. And we're integrating the stick cam. Stick. Cam on a stick. My favorite. And then, best thing for skiing ever, chesty. Don't even bother sticking it on your helmet, it's useless, because if you don't have any perspective, like your hands or your skis, right? You don't want to have like guy in the sky, do you? No. Right, Tuck? Right on. Right. How's the, uh, how's that chest? You still feeling good? Good. I don't even notice it. Sweet. Yeah. Looking good. I got no hat. Party people. Hey, Abe, how's it working? Hey, working great. Got the whole hey, cam, got the chest cam, got the, cam, got the interview cam. Bust it. Once you've connected your cam to the end of an old ski pole, you've got yourself a video samurai sword. Buss it. Buss it. Buss it. Buss it. Then you start dropping in with your buddies and start slicing up the angles. <laughs> So what's the moral of our little lesson and story today on the old GoPro? Well, the chess cam is awesome, especially if you want your POV to count, your point of view. You want it to have some arms, some skis in there, so people have a point of reference. It's almost like putting yourself in a video game. The stick cam, oh, we love the stick cam. Like I said, it enables you to get all the different angles, and it's almost like having a zoom. Yeah, it's kind of like a zoom. I think I called it a samurai sword for video. So yeah, don't be afraid to try out that stick cam. We'll talk more about the helmet cam in another episode, but for now, we'll wrap it up.